Hey everyone, I have here today um, just my thoughts about this epoxy seal, 9000 epoxy compound that I've been using to coat electronics. It's actually, um, they call it also like a potting compound. So you can see it says here, electronic grade epoxy resin. And uh, this container here is the, um, the main component. This is the hardener here. They're mixed in a two to one ratio. And I have here uh, one of my customers, um, it's called a Smartened DSU that I made. And uh, this one is for a, a Prius Prime with uh, the optional uh, Cat6 Ethernet cable for ZSS. And um, so I, I primarily wanted to just give you some thoughts about this stuff because it seemed like a good idea when I first bought it. At least I'm always interested in trying new things out. And it definitely works. I mean, like, this stuff has been hardened for a while. And it's hard. Uh, this is a glass rod that I was using for stirring. This stuff here is actually um, an old sample that I had done a few weeks ago for another customer. And I had probably put a little too li uh, little um, too much of the uh, uh, this stuff. So the, the base resin and not enough of the hardener. So if I really poke hard, I can do that. And then over time, it just sort of self heals itself. So like if I leave this alone for a day, it'll even out, but it's actually, it's pretty hard. This stuff, I, I actually use the right mixture, you know, two to one. So uh, the hardener, I, I put more of that in there this time. The reason why, I, I know I got it right was because um, previously, so I had bought all these uh, Dixie cups. These are 20 ounce and obviously way too big, you know, having a 20 ounce container when this resin, uh, I don't know how much it is. It's like a liter or something. So probably could have used just super tiny cups, but what I was originally going to do was use this um, scale that I use for shipping, and I was going to use that to um, do the two to one calculation by weight. And you'd think it would be really um, accurate. Well, it actually turned out that, uh, you know, I would put a cup on here and I'd start pouring. Well, I put a cup on there, tear it. Then I'd start pouring, and it would take forever for it to actually register um, the weight of the additional material. And I, I knew as I was pouring and pouring and pouring, I was like, man, this isn't going to work. So then I just kind of uh, played it by eye and um, poured um, what I thought was, you know, like maybe 50% of that black uh, black compound here. I put about 50% of that in here. The problem is it's it's very hard to gauge how much you've poured in here unless you've actually measured it out. So this time when I did this one, I actually did measure it out. I took one of these cups. I cut it down. I took a little uh, tablespoon, poured a tablespoon of water in there, made a mark, poured another tablespoon of water, made a mark, Made another tablespoon of water, made a mark. So then I had, I knew exactly what a third, two thirds, and, and three thirds, you know, a full uh, mixture would be. And that worked out great. So as you can see, uh, well, so the only, the down downside is that initially it's very liquidy. So if you don't have like a container for this, it'll just start flying out, flowing everywhere. But I knew that was going to happen because I had already used this stuff previously. Um, and it actually has enough surface tension where it kind of stopped 
pretty much at the edges. And then after a while, I just kind of wiped out these areas, uh, which would be like a grounding area. Um, you know, makes contact with the metal case. Uh, the metal case actually looks looks like this. So, um, yeah, it was important that I, I uh, basically do what the customer wanted, which was to coat the wires so that, I guess, his main thing was that he wanted it to be more stable. Uh, so, you know, I, I coated it as best as I could, and you know, this, this stuff kind of ran out a little bit, but I think it's pretty good. Uh, I really don't like doing this for this particular project because if anything does get messed up, it's very difficult for me to go back and fix it. So anyway, this will, and I only charge them $5 extra for this. It was honestly probably worth more than $5 worth of the material itself. This cost about $80 or $90 for this. I think maybe maybe it was only like 70 or 80 dollars, but anyway, it's definitely not cheap. And it was a total pain in the ass to to mess with this. And it takes a long time to cure. Like a full cure is like 24 hours, but it's pretty hard after a few hours. So anyway, uh that is that. You know, um if anyone else is looking to use this stuff, just kind of heed my warnings. Um, it's definitely very runny at first, and then by the time it thickens, it develops a skin on the uh, outer surface. So think twice before uh, using this, but it's definitely, um, if you know what you're doing, it's definitely a cool product. Thanks for watching.